What is going on Guardians? Ember here with another one for you. Today we're talking new seasonal activity and a build that goes perfectly with it since there's all that attrition. This Solar Titan build using a reworked exotic is perfect for that activity. But before we get into it, let's head down below this video. Absolutely obliterate that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to stick around at the end of the video for an original meme. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, let's break this down. There's a lot to go over, but I really believe this is truly some powerful stuff we have going on, and it really just helps to deal with all of that attrition that we're seeing in the new seasonal activity. I mean, when I was first playing it, it's just insane how you're running all over the place to get those, those little light orbs to heal you, and nobody really likes that so you can kind of almost ignore it with this build that's one of my favorite things about it so let's see first we're building this all around hallow fire heart this recently got a rework now solar takedowns while standing in a sunspot create a sunspot greatly improves recharge rate of your solar abilities while your super is charged and provides a small benefit to the airborne effectiveness of all weapons. So that first sentence is what is new on that Sunfire Furnace perk. Solar takedowns while standing in a sunspot create a sunspot. So it can be an ability like already in the aspect that we'll go over, but now it works with the Prometheus lens. That's right, one of the best exotic trace rifles in my opinion super super fun and synergizes so well with so many different solar builds so with this fires a solar trace beam creates a field of heat energy that grows as the weapon is fired sustained damage applies scorch to the target so that little bit of scorch is nice right there but we also have the catalyst which gives it incandescent so we're going to be pairing a lot of this stuff together and i'll break down just exactly how much scorch we're applying with each of the things we're doing but then we do have that last weapon trait here kills with this weapon return a fraction of the ammo used to the magazine from reserves extending the beams duration so if you can get this ramped up if you can get it all the way maxed out at the max damage that it's going to do you can really just start deleting tons tons of ads and they won't really have too much of a chance you'll be really just cruising through everything and it kind of just liquefies all of it just a little laser beam begin laser ignition sequence so we're kind of making a little bit of an ability spam build here with the hallow fire heart we're going to go over just exactly how we're going to do that and how we're going to get so much healing first off the throwing hammer that you have, the one that you can pick up, it gives you cure. So that's instant health back. And we're pairing that with Soul Invictus. So anytime we get a hammer kill, it's going to create a sunspot at the location. And we're going to get that immediate bit of cure. It's going to heal us. And then afterward, we are going to stand in the sunspot and continually get our health regen. So we can almost ignore those little orbs that are going to be around on the ground for healing us in this activity and it really makes it kind of easy mode uh, i do also pair it with the thermite grenade just so that i can hit as many targets as possible but i do also know that the incendiary grenade is going to apply way more scorch stacks than the thermite grenade it's really your preference whatever works either way will work and you're basically going to have them infinitely really infinitely it's so much ability regen if you miss anything you miss the hammer you basically have it back by the time it explodes anyway so it's almost like having a second grenade it's a lot of fun we're actually just using hammer of soul here but you could use burning maul either way because the cooldown is a little bit less but since we're not popping our super pretty much ever um it doesn't really matter which one you're doing you're not really going to be missing out on it too much so our fragments here uh we are pairing ember of ashes of course because that is going to take the incandescent from prometheus lens from 30 scorch to 40 scorch stacks and so that's going to help us pretty much immediately ignite anything in an area once we get a hammer kill a grenade kill anything like that we're going to be applying so so much scorch to these targets it's going to ignite everything we're using ember of blistering defeating targets with solar ignitions grants grenade energy just to keep that grenade loop going 
Solar Weapon Final Blows grant you and your allies increased recovery for a short duration, and that's just again to help with our survivability since we're pumping so much of our stat points into resilience, into intellect, we don't have a whole lot left for recovery, but with this we're going to kind of make up for that a little bit. And then lastly, we have Ember of Resolve, Solar Grenade, Final Blows, Cure You. So we have two different ways to get cure, instant health, every time. This one is obviously easier with the throwing hammer, but it always helps to be able to get a little bit of health when you need it, especially if you just manage to chuck your hammer way off the edge and things like that. So let's take a look over here at some of these mods that we have going on. Obviously, we're using the things that are going to give us the most grenade energy back. And then since we are using our throwing hammer and can pick that up quite a lot, even though it won't give it to us on every single kill because there is a cooldown, heavy handed, definitely recommend that one as well. So now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, check out our artifact mods here we're actually going to be running the elemental orbs solar and the refreshing pickups so that way we can just keep that loop going with infinite ability spam all the time always it's so much fun now that we got all this out of the way let's hit some of that gameplay and check out how crazy this can be so I've been having a ton of fun with this build. I've played it a lot and I've almost reset my vendor rank already uh, with Eris. I've also entirely completed the triumph for flawless encounters with this build in particular. So it's really easy to stack up tons of healing and not die when it's important. I mean, watch even just right here. We throw our grenade, we instantly are at almost 50% back on it and we're recharging so so fast it's already almost back and then when it comes to it you can solo these yellow bar abominations with nothing but your hammer they're not going to be able to actually attack you if you can throw it fast enough they're just going to keep getting staggered and that really also helps you a lot for your survivability i mean just punched a screeb right there as we picked up our curing hammer <laughs> we're actually gonna miss picking up our hammer there. It's gonna fly way off to the side and you can already see it's tons and tons of energy. All three of our abilities are down and they are coming back super quickly. It's not necessarily infinite, but it's definitely more than you usually would need to feel like you're in a safe spot ability-wise at least. And Prometheus Lens makes easy, easy work of a lot of different challenging enemies, like Wyverns. I don't know what it is about Wyverns. I seem to have a lot of trouble with them when they just run around and, and get all up in your face shooting that massive cannon at you. But the Prometheus Lens is fantastic at just melting the hell off of them. And I am a big advocate of just having a fun, relaxing time in Destiny. With all the different builds you can make, just picking something that, that's fun, that you can use to just go out and enjoy yourself. I mean, look right here. I'm gonna fail at this jump 600 times, it feels like. Finally get up, almost dead, be able to use my hammer twice, and instant full health again. You really don't have to pay attention to all that much or be perfectly accurate and precise about everything. Miss your hammer, just throw it way off into the distance and you're still just totally fine and chilling. So that's really all that there is for me right now. Let's toss that meme up on the screen. Thanks for stopping by Guardians. Let me know in the comment section down below how you have been enjoying this new season of Destiny 2. I think it's a whole lot of fun and I look forward to crafting a lot of the weapons. But until next time, be without form. So with as lightning.